Well, tonight the Trump lawyers have filed a reply to the Justice Department's opposition to a judge appointing a so-called special master to examine some of the government records seized by the FBI at Donald Trump's Florida home. Andrew Weissman, Neil Katyal, Matthew Miller will give us their expert analysis of these legal filings. But, but the single most important thing to keep in mind, the single most important thing to know about the Trump lawyers filing tonight is that it does not say one word about something included in the Justice Department's filing last night that could get some of the Trump lawyers indicted for obstruction of justice. One of the very important pieces of evidence in the Justice Department's filing last night is a copy of an under oath affidavit written by one of the Trump lawyers and signed by another of the Trump lawyers on June 3rd, swearing under oath on that day that at that moment, they were handing over to the FBI and a federal prosecutor at Donald Trump's home all of the government documents that were at Donald Trump's home at that time. Everything. Those lawyers said under oath to the FBI in this affidavit that they conducted a search of Donald Trump's home after receipt of the subpoena in order to locate any and all documents that are responsive to the subpoena, any and all responsive documents accompany this certification, meaning they accompany this piece of paper. On June 3rd, the Trump lawyers said to the FBI and to federal prosecutors under oath, you now have all of the documents that belong to the government that have been in this home. And that was a lie. It is very likely tonight that someone will be convicted of obstruction of justice for that lie in writing under oath. Either one or more of Donald Trump's lawyers or possibly Donald Trump himself. If the Trump lawyers turn on Donald Trump and testify that they were simply passing on a lie told to them by Donald Trump. None of that, none of that is mentioned in the Trump lawyers filing tonight, which insults the court with the lie that those lawyers and Donald Trump fully cooperated with the National Archives and the Justice Department's attempts to retrieve all of the records owned by the federal government that were at Donald Trump's home illegally. As the FBI investigation developed, they realized that they had been lied to by the Trump lawyers on June 3rd. So they went to a federal judge in Florida and obtained a search warrant to search Donald Trump's home on August 8th. And what did they find on August 8th in the hotel that Donald Trump lives in in Florida when he's living in Florida? They found twice as many documents with classification markings on them then they were given by the Trump lawyers on June 3rd when the Trump lawyers lied under oath in writing. Twice as many. In the Justice Department's filing in the case last night, on page 13, it says that the FBI, in a matter of hours, recovered twice as many documents with classification markings as the diligent search that the former president's counsel and other representatives had weeks to perform calls into serious question the representations made in the June 3rd certification and casts doubt on the extent of cooperation in this matter. That is just one of the elements of the obstruction of justice case against Donald Trump in, and his lawyers and his staff. The Trump lawyers had nothing to say tonight about that dramatic and highly incriminating passage in the Justice Department's filing last night. Not a single word about that. The Trump lawyers on June 3rd swore under oath 
that they were on that day handing over everything to the FBI. And when the FBI comes back with a search warrant, they find twice as many classified documents as the Trump lawyers handed over to them. And where did they find them? In his desk. In his desk. That's where the FBI found three classified documents when they executed the search warrant of Donald Trump's home. In Donald Trump's desk. In his damn desk. That's where they were for well over a hundred years now, going all the way back to at least Sherlock Holmes. We have been treated to an endless array of mystery novels and short stories and plays and movies and TV shows where the brilliant detective struggles mightily to get into the mind of the brilliant criminal, to try to imagine. If I were the brilliant criminal, where would I hide the evidence of my crime, the proof of my crime? On the morning of August 8th, FBI agents had to imagine, if I were the stupidest man in the world, or, or maybe just the stupidest man who ever won the Electoral College, where would I hide the evidence of a crime? And so the FBI went straight to Donald Trump's desk, where they found three classified documents, which is exactly three more than Donald Trump was legally allowed to have in his desk. And those are not the only documents they found in that room. Here's a photograph the FBI attached to last night's motion of what they found in, quote, a container in the 45 office. More top secret documents, including documents that indicate the information in them was derived from human sources, which could mean informers or spies and that some of the information in the documents is signals intelligence, which means it could include intercepted phone calls. On page 12 of last night's filing by the Justice Department, federal prosecutors write, three classified documents that were not located in boxes, but rather were located in the desks in the 45 office were also seized. The 45 offices, Donald Trump's office at the hotel where he lives in Florida. It says desks in the 45 office. So there is more than one desk there, probably two desks, Donald Trump's big desk and maybe an assistance desk across the room. Three classified documents found in more than one desk in Donald Trump's office. So maybe it was only one in Donald Trump's desk or Two in the assistance desks, or maybe one in the assistance desk and two in Donald Trump's desk. In, in his desk. The only way those documents could be closer to Donald Trump is if they were in his pockets. But that's where Donald Trump keeps his Tic Tacs. So stolen classified documents, oh, they go in the desk with his passport. The only thing the FBI has returned to Donald Trump from their search is his passport, which they scooped up when they were scooping up stolen government records. If the passport wasn't near or with or on top of one of those stolen government records, the FBI wouldn't have taken it. The FBI quickly decided they weren't going to need Donald Trump's passport in this investigation, and so they returned it to him. Do you know where your passport is right now? You should. You don't want to have to go looking for it when you really need it, because then you'll never find it. You'll miss the plane. Always keep your passport in the same place all the time. As soon as you get home from a foreign land, just put it right back where it was. I, for one, have been doing that for my entire life. So I can tell you my passport is in my desk in the upper right drawer. That's where it's been for my entire adult life. If you find something with my passport, I guarantee you, I knew it was there because I know exactly what's in the drawer with my passport. It's the most important drawer in the office. It's the drawer where the most important stuff goes. In Donald Trump's office, that means his passport and stolen classified documents. The original Trump story was that all of this material was moved from Washington, D.C. to Florida 
on its way to the National Archives, which is in Washington, D.C. But then Donald Trump didn't send any of it, none of it, to the National Archives for a year. The National Archives pleaded and finally sent some people down there to get it. And in that first shipment of 15 boxes to the National Archives, they soon realized that there were classified documents there and that they didn't get it all. About six months later, they worked out the second delivery when the Trump lawyers swore under oath in writing in June that that's it, now you've got it all. And if that were true, the story would have ended right there on June 3rd, and we wouldn't know much about it. But the fact that government documents, including classified documents, remained at Donald Trump's home after his lawyers swore under oath that they weren't there, moved this story into the criminal arena, and a criminal search warrant was issued. And then the question became, how close to Donald Trump is this going to get? Donald Trump could have said, ah, I had nothing to do with those boxes. He could have tried to say, I didn't know what was in those boxes. But on August 8th, when the FBI figured out where the mastermind would hide classified documents, they went straight to Donald Trump's office and straight into his desk. And when they opened Donald Trump's desk drawer, Donald Trump, Donald Trump's defense collapsed. And so tonight, Donald Trump's sleep struggle is going to be trying to fall asleep while he wonders if the FBI has been able to find his fingerprints on the classified documents that he was hiding in his desk.